Om Shanti and uh, welcome back. Today we're going to do the recording of 29th of July back in Delhi itself and having a nice weather. It's raining outside. So with this beautiful weather, let's go ahead and let's understand what does God have to say in today's blessing. God wants us to be happy in every kind of situation with the elevated stage, the elevated thinking. And He wants us to be completely content and an embodiment of happiness. And how does he want us to do that is what we're going to learn here. So God says, may you create your stage of happiness with your elevated awareness and become an embodiment of happiness. So we have to create a stage of happiness. It depends upon us, what we think, what we think about ourselves, what we think about others. So God says the basis of your stage is your awareness. If you are aware of the knowledge, if you are aware of the different aspects which God has taught us so as to keep our mind stable and our intellect totally refined, things like having affirmations about ourselves, spiritual affirmations, not worldly affirmations but spiritual affirmations and at the same time having an idea and an aspect in which we stop looking at other people's mistakes or what they lack in their life and see what they have in their life and pick up qualities from them which actually helps us to become somebody who is more powerful and more stronger, more stable on a daily basis. So God says, may you create your stage of happiness with your elevated awareness of and become an embodiment of happiness. So the basis of your stage is your awareness. You simply have to be an embodiment of awareness. Self-awareness, who am I as a soul? Awareness of God, who He is. Awareness of the knowledge and the creation and the laws of the creation which actually help us out to be stable in our mind what laws had God created and what he wants us to follow and God says you simply have to be an embodiment of awareness for as is your awareness so will be your stage if you are aware of the knowledge aware of the self aware of the laws of the world the way the world is moving the interaction between souls the interaction between souls and elements what are qualities what are values we need to have in order to be in that state of Awareness is what is going to bring about love and happiness in our life. So maintain the awareness of being happy and your stage will be your happiness. So it's not something which is forced. It's something which is a feeling. It's not something which you think and think and think that I'm happy. No, it can only come with your feelings. If you have clean and clear heart, then the happiness will remain there. Otherwise, it's going to leave. You can think happiness for a few minutes. You will be in a higher stage because you will be secreting a lot of dopamines and serotonin, oxytocin and melatonin in your brain with those thoughts but it is going to subside because of that unclean heart. So it has to be both heart, means feelings and the mind and the thoughts. So God says if you have an awareness of sorrow, your stage will be of sorrow. If you are thinking about the past and why and why not, there is going to be of sorrow. Sorrow is going to increase in the world because Kali is going to become more and more deeper. This world is going to get more and more degraded, even though it's getting more and more upgraded financially, maybe, maybe technologically, but then the consciousness of mind of human souls is falling down. More lust, more anger, more greed, more ego, more jealousy, more hatred, more laziness, and many more things are coming down also. So sorrow is going to increase in the world, everything is going to go in the going to go in its into its extreme, whether it's diseases, whether it's war, whether it is Peacelessness in families is going to go further more. Souls are going to become more degraded though. Are we ready for that? But you children of the ocean of happiness will remain constantly happy and be detached from sorrow as embodiments of happiness. So no matter what the situation may be, but we'll be detached from sorrow. How to that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. We learn the technique, the reason why we need to be detached and what are the methods what we need to think to be detached. Detached doesn't mean you stop caring about the other person, you start helping them out but in a detached manner. Therefore, no matter what happens, you will stay constantly in pleasure. Pleasure of being in this world, pleasure of being in this life, pleasure of getting to know the Supreme Creator, pleasure of getting to know the who and how of this world history, how this world moves and when we have all that knowledge, everything is common and normal and everything is supernatural. What people are stuck in is the natural, but we get into supernatural world, supernatural understanding and supernatural way of thinking. It's not natural. Yes, you stand apart. You can too learn this knowledge at Brahma Kumaris. Do go ahead and get this knowledge with this Om Shanti.